Hey everyone, welcome to the video. In this video, we will see how to run meta lead form ads with Go High Level. By Go High Level, I mean how to integrate lead forms with Go High Level so you can bring in the leads when there's a lead form submission on Facebook. You can perform a bunch of automations from there. So if you're not familiar with lead form ads and how they work, it's basically a lead campaign you create on meta on your Facebook ads manager. If someone clicks on your ad, instead of taking them somewhere like a landing page or a website you're just giving them an instant form created inside facebook and they will be able to submit that form on facebook without going anywhere else as soon as they submit that form their data will be brought to go high level where you can perform a bunch of automations so this video is basically a step-by-step -step process of doing that so make sure you watch the whole thing. So if you look at my screen, we have a Go High Level account open. We are going to use this Go High Level sub account to automate and integrate with the lead form ads. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our ad account, adsmanage.facebook.com. And if you don't have an ad manager set up, I also have done a video on that, how to set up your Facebook ad account so you can start running your Facebook ad campaigns. I will try to link that video in this video's description. So go ahead and watch that. As soon as you've got everything set up, you're in the ads account or in the ads manager. What you can do is you can create a new campaign by, by clicking here. This time we will say leads is our objective for the campaign because we are doing lead form ads. Lead form ads only work with leads as an objective. So we are going to say leads campaign. I'll say October 2025. That's how I name my campaigns. The buying type will be auction. Leave the campaign objective as leads. That's totally fine. You can say ad set budget. So we will assign the budget, not on the campaign, but on the ad set. That's all there is to it for the campaign settings. So we will hit next and go to the ad set. So we will say broad ad set because up after the Andromeda update, we are starting to do a lot of broad ad sets, not doing any type of detailed audience targeting. The main thing we're going to do is in the conversion location, we are going to select instant forms. We usually go with websites, but this example is about instant forms or lead forms. So we are going to do instant forms and the Facebook page needs to be selected. Now, the first time you're doing this, they will ask you to view the terms and conditions and accept it. So because I have already run instant form ads, I've already accepted it. That's why it's saying that you've accepted Meta's lead ads terms for this page. Now the performance goal can stay as it is, maximize number of leads because we need the maximum number of leads. The budget section needs to have the budget here. So I'll start off anywhere between 35 and 50 a day, which is an ideal budget for Meta lead gen ads. Locations, you, you can just target your desired location. So I'll say London here, 17 kilometers around London is my target location. And if you want to exclude any location like if your ads for example unexpectedly start showing up in slough or something we will just say drop in and you can just select exclude from here and exclude this whole area for any reason if people from here start seeing your ads they won't see it now now the other thing we're going to do is keep placements advantage plus and also keep the location after selecting the location actually we will make sure the campaign at the ad set is advantage plus audience so if you just click over here show more suggestions you can see the age group the gender detail targeting leave it as it is no need to do anything here hey everyone just wanted to take a quick moment to share my school community where if you join you get to ask me questions about issues you're facing on go high level ads automation ai you can also be a part of the weekly coaching sessions where i conduct training on many different topics and we do a q a session after that besides you get free access to a lot of my courses that i'm not uploading on youtube anymore some of them you can already see on the screen also there are members only discounts so if you join you get 50 percent off on my courses my snapshots my funnels everything that's pretty much what i want to share see you on the other side once everything's taken care of we will go to create our actual ad here's where we create the ad and the lead form so just so you know since you're creating the lead form on your ad campaign on the ad account even though you're doing that the lead form is actually created under the facebook page so here in this example i'm using my facebook page so if i create a lead form this lead form will be created under this page and this information will be necessary when we are integrating this up with go high level set up creatives we will first click on that and then go to image and then we will just select any of these examples you can upload new images for your ads by the way so once uploaded you can just make sure the exact aspect ratios are 
fully set up. Here's the primary text that shows up above. Image or the video you use, so I'll say this is primary text. This video is not about how to run good ads. This is about just the integration and the automation part. So you can just take care of this yourself using ChatGPT or if you have written some good primary text, some ad copy, some headlines, you can just do that. Just put it here. When you're done, hit next, hit done. As you can see, this is the primary text. So if you want to go with any long form text, you can have it here. If you want to go with any short form text, you can have it here as well. This is the headline. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to find the section where it says instant form. So as you can see, I've already created some lead forms. In this video, I will create a new lead form so I can show you guys how they're created. I'll just hit create form. I'll call it lead form 27 October. This is how I name my form. So I know that, okay, this is, a, this is when I created it. The form type can be more volume or higher intent. When you're getting started, I would recommend go for more volume because since Meta doesn't have any data existing on your campaign or on your ad account, higher intent may result in zero lead or less leads just to get the volume up and running just go with more volume and later maybe you can test higher intent flexible form delivery can be off that's fine just hit next now i usually keep these two closed because i don't want to add an extra step i just want to grab their details and that's it i want to start a conversation so i just keep the greeting and background image off hit next now here you can ask some questions before asking for their name email phone number you can ask some questions about what kind of service do you want what's your zip code are you serious about stuff these are some qualification questions because lead forms sometimes give us garbage leads it doesn't really give us garbage leads if you do it in the right way but you're getting started you may end up getting some bad leads so it's best to set up some questions let's just set up one question so i'll say what service do you need and here i will say air Air conditioning repair. Let's just say I'm doing this ad for air conditioning business. Heating system upgrade. Just add some more saying that air basement. And then now here you can see the description part where it says, please answer the below questions. These are basically your personal information that you're getting from the lead. So first name and email address, phone number, that's all good. We can just remove the company name part and see if we can add anything else. So we will say first name, surname, email address, phone number. That's all we are getting. So we will say next, this is the page where you enter the privacy policy from your website. So your website, if it has a privacy policy page, enter it, but if you don't have a privacy policy just enter the main website url that also works hit next and this is the thank you page so when the form is submitted this is what they see so i'll say thanks you're all set you can visit our websites or exit the form now the additional action is go to website so basically this button if they click on it it takes them to the website so i'll just get rid of this part and basically from now on if someone submits the form they come to this page and if they click on this button, they go to my website. That's all there is to it in this page. And now we will hit create form. The form is successfully created and the form's name is lead form 27 October. Now that we have our campaign set up and our lead form set up, it's time for us before publishing this campaign, it's time for us to integrate this with go high level since the form has been created now it can be integrated with go high level now we will go to our go high level account now the first thing we're going to do after we are on our sub account this is not the agency level this is the sub account as you can see there's a name here for the business so we will go to settings and then we will go to integrations and once we are here we will go to connect facebook and instagram so you need to connect your facebook page for this so hit connect and it will ask you to log in through your facebook profile as you can see i'm doing it so I'll say reconnect and now it will ask me what page do you want to connect so I will basically connect my own Facebook page here and where it says sync time it always must be new leads so basically what I'm saying is if a new lead comes in the lead should instantly be sent to go high level whenever there's a new instant form submission it should be brought to go high level in this part where it says your facebook integration with the crm was successful you need to now configure the form so basically you need to map the form with go high level so all the data from the instant form that we created in high level properly gets transferred to a go high level account and a contact gets created so we will hit configure field mapping now as soon as we do that if you look at it the first form 
that was fetched by Goha Level was the form that we just created. Lead form 27 October. This one. Now what we're going to do is hit map fields and then we are going to map all these fields. So these are the fields from the form. These are the fields from the CRM or Goha Level in this case. So we will say map the first name with the first name field in Goha Level. Map the last name of the form with the last name field in Goha Level. Same thing for email. Same thing for phone number. Now about any custom questions, any questions that you create in the form, you can map that with any fields you create under custom fields over here. So if you have a custom field called what service do you need and it's a single line field, you can easily just connect it up. So I actually have one, what service do you need? So what I'll do is I'll hit confirm. As you can see, the mapping was successful and the status is enabled. So this form is actually properly integrated with Go High Level now. Now let's just perform a few automation. Now let's go back. We will publish the campaign only after taking care of everything in Go High Level. Now we will go to automation. Now let's create a new workflow. Now about the trigger, we will click on add new trigger and say Facebook. As soon as we write Facebook, it gives us Facebook lead form submitted. So we will click on this and say page is my page that I connected. And then once I connect my page, it's going to ask me what is the form that you want to work with. So I'll say lead form 27 October and make sure it's mapped before, before you create the automation. So we'll hit save trigger and name this workflow Facebook lead form automation. This workflow will start executing its actions, which we will configure now once a lead form is submitted. So every time a new lead form is submitted, this workflow will start performing all these automations for that contact. Just so you know, once a lead form is submitted, that lead form, since it's integrated with Go High Level, a contact will be automatically created under the contact section over here. So you don't have to do anything for that. A contact will by default be created once the lead form is submitted. And this is happening because you integrated the Facebook lead form with Go High Level. So we will go back to the workflow. First, let's just get a notification. So the notification will be sent to us if you're the business owner to you or someone else is the business owner to them. So we will say internal notification. We will basically notify someone that a lead form has been submitted, a new lead has come in. So we can just do email. You can fill out the from name. So it's the name that email is going out from, the email address this email is going out from. But what's important in this step is to user type. So you can just send it to any custom email and say test at this is my email that I want to receive the notification to. Let's say this is my email and I want to get notification to my email when there's a new lead. So I'll say new lead in the system and say hello there is a new lead from Facebook ad and then we will do here well, name email phone. Okay so what we're going to do is here under name we will say contact full name. So we are dynamically generating the name, email and phone number of the contact that was created from the lead form submit. So every time a new lead comes in, this will replace the name of the name, email, phone number of that contact. If you notice here, I've just put name, not first name, last name, because when the contact was created in Go High Level, it merged the first name, last name and created the full name out of it. So this is just a simple notification we are getting. Now what we can do now, if we go back from this workflow to our opportunities, and if you're not familiar with pipelines here, pipelines are basically where you can see all the leads come in. So I actually have a leads pipeline already. I have a few leads here as well. So if you go to pipelines, you can just create one called leads and then just have a bunch of stages like I have here. If we go back to the opportunities, so new leads, contact have responded, booked an appointment, missed an appointment and lots of other stuff. So what I'm going to do is add the lead that submitted that lead form under new leads. So a new card like this one will be created once that lead form on Facebook is submitted. So in order to do that, we will go back to our automation, go to lead form automation and basically write as an action here, create or update opportunity. So we will say leads, new leads, and the opportunity name will be the name of the contact. So the card's name will be the name of the contact. Same thing, save action. And if you want to add a new tag to this contact, you can do it by saying add contact tag. We'll say Facebook add. So I already have one created, but if you don't have one lead form, you can just click on add new tag and that tag will be created. But I'm not going to create any new tag. I'll just say use an existing tag that I have in the system. Save action, save. So this is how you can keep creating it. Now, what we're going to do is we, we are going to send an SMS to the lead who submitted that form. So we will say, hey, contact first name. Thanks for your inquiry. And this is the person who submitted the form receiving this SMS or this text message right after they submitted that form on Facebook. Now, what we're doing is we're saying, hey, 
John, thanks for in your inquiry. Is it okay if we chat further here? Or if you want me to call you, I can do that as well. Let me know what works, right? So do something like this, very short, very simple, but ask a question so they reply. Because the next step that we're going to do depends on it. You need to ask a question in this SMS. So we will say wait first for contact reply. So we are waiting for the contact reply. Reply to what? Reply to this SMS. So we will say reply to SMS. And this SMS is basically the same one here. And we are saying that we are waiting for one hour. So wait for one hour on tag reply. So we are waiting for the contact reply for one hour. And if they reply, they will go through this branch. If they don't reply, they will go through this branch. So what if they don't reply after one hour? You guess it right. We are going to follow up with them. So we will say send SMS again. Hey, contact name following up on my last text very simple don't do any fancy words or anything like that just do it like as if you are typing this sms right now you don't have time you're a busy person you're just typing it as we go so it is kind of perfect when it's imperfect you know what i mean so that's what we are doing if they don't reply what if they reply now do if we are gonna say if contact reply so we will say reply intent type is positive so we were saying if the message reply that we got from this contact after this message was sent if that reply was positive if that said okay yeah please sure go ahead call me or something if they say something like that what we are going to do is we're going to say yes so if it's positive it's going to go through this branch so we will say we can actually save time and get this internal notification copy this bit copy action and paste it right here so we will say part lead right say this person wants to talk further want to be called because this person just replied positively if their reply is something else but positive it will go through this branch and you can say check this reply and we can say this person's message needs to be checked and we can just get rid of the email from here and say name phone number and reply message and now we can just say message body so what will happen is the reply will be fetched here in this notification and you as someone who's receiving this email notification will be able to see what they replied over here under reply message that's what we're doing now once everything's done we can just hit publish and save and that's a very simple yet effective way of performing automations for lead forms or leads coming from facebook ads to your go high level now before we finish this i just wanted to show you one more thing if you want to see or if you want to use this workflow or this automation in the new workflow builder which is called the advanced workflow builder in go high level the first thing you need to do is make sure it's enabled it will be live in the next few days anyway but in case you want to make it live now, you can just go to agency view from here and go to labs. And then when you're in labs, go to sub account and say advanced. So click on the new advanced workflow builder and you can see this activate feature thing. Just hit this and then just go to the sub account. You want to enable this in. So I'll just do this already enabled. So I will now go back from here to back to the account. And once we are back in the sub account, we will go to automation and go to Facebook lead form automation. And you will see a toggle here that says switch to advanced builder. And that's it here. We have updated our workflow in the new workflow builder or the new advanced workflow builder and go high level. As you can see, it looks a bit better and the view is actually node based instead of tree based. So when you're done, hit save and that's your workflow for Facebook lead form automation. So let me know in the comments if you have any other questions about this or Facebook ads or go high level or anything in general. More than happy to reply and see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.